everyone, this is Prasha and welcome to my weekly vlog that I'm doing for Norris CrossFit and I'm super excited and uh, today we're gonna talk about five things that nobody tells you about CrossFit before you join or before you get started. So uh, it's also something like the things that people got wrong about CrossFit. So before we get started, I just want to tell you I had a fantastic week working out. I was, um, I was actually very consistent and part of it had to do with the vlog series because um, I knew I had to vlog and I wanted to um, think about, uh, you know, how I want to uh, maximize how many times I go to the gym. And I am very happy to uh, share with you that I was at the gym about three times last week and uh, I'm on track to be there three times this week as well, which is awesome considering I'm still hurt and I'm still taking it um, kind of slow but in a sense that I'm being smart with the moves that I do and Andreas a huge shout out to him because he's been helping me um, get the right workouts in and making sure that I'm working hard and not you know uh, kind of cutting corners when it comes to you know kind of being injured and not being able to do all the moves so Thank you so much, Andres, uh, and he is an awesome coach at Norris CrossFit in Smithfield, Rhode Island, and uh, you should definitely check out their page at Norris CrossFit, and if you live in the area, you should definitely sign up. So let's get started. Five things that no one tells you about CrossFit. <clears throat> Number one, that CrossFit is freaking empowering. It is... Uh, in fact, one of the most empowering things I've ever done. It actually makes me feel extremely empowered because I get to do all these wonderful lifts and I get to uh, experience this weird power when I when I kind of lift something overhead or if I do a really heavy deadlift or you know and stuff like that. So it's really empowering, and um, I think everyone should give it a try. Uh, number two. Hmm. Uh, it helps you build uh, really good form. So in anything that you do, your posture improves, uh, which means every time, even when I'm at work or, you know, doing just regular stuff, I kind of more aware of my posture because posture is so important when it comes to heavy lifting or any kind of complex movements. Um, so I definitely think posture is one thing that your posture will improve if you join a CrossFit gym. So, you know, definitely something that people don't think about. Um, number three. It is a huge, huge community. It's a worldwide sport. So there are hundreds, hundreds of people around the world who are doing this sport just with you. So just to give you an idea, there are 13,000 CrossFit gyms around the world. And just imagine even if one of them has, say, 100 people, uh, you know, that, that makes it like what one... My math is actually better than this. Uh, and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, the, you know, that kind of is a lot of people. It was a great thing because I found someone on Instagram who helped me, uh, you know, format this uh, IG live video series that we're doing. And just because we connected on CrossFit and it's, it's incredible. It's a great community. You can find them anywhere in the world. And um, number four. CrossFit teaches you um, excitement, I think, you know, you get really excited. I get very excited when they say go, or, you know, when it's like one, two, three, go. And then you have this timer and you're kind of chasing a target. And that's the kind of feeling that we usually don't get in our daily jobs. Um, uh, especially because you're, you know, you're, they're more like paced out and, you know, you just don't have that kind of excitement, like one, two, three, go. And I absolutely love it because it gets me all excited and it ex actually makes me, um, you know, feel like a child. So I, I think that's really, really wonderful. And uh, number five is... It teaches you so much about yourself, which is, I just never knew what I was capable of before I started CrossFit in a sense of athleticism or just being an athlete. I just never knew what was possible for me uh, as a... As, uh, you know, you know, what I could lift, what I could do. Um, and it just helps you explore your limitations or boundaries, which were all in your head all this time. And, uh, you know, just to give you an example, I am getting so much better at the assault bike. It's crazy. When I started, I could not, I could not spend three minutes on that thing. That thing 
is if you've been to a CrossFit gym, you know, it's a killer. And I am actually getting better at it. I'm comfortable with it. I'm not scared of it. I'm, it doesn't scare me at night, which is great because I used to have nightmares about that thing. So that's number one. I, you know, and then I can run. So when it's good outside, I can run a mile and, you know, be okay with it and it's it's wonderful it's an overall health that that improves but also you know what all you're capable of so everyone who goes to crossfit with me and when i ch chat with them you know a lot of people would say the same thing that oh i'm just glad i did it i can't believe i did it oh my god oh my god so it's it's a great combination of the first pointer which is you know it empowers you and it kind of makes you um very very aware of all the things you're capable of doing. And as you all know, exercise is a keystone habit, which means if you have a good exercise routine, you're gonna bring that habit to you, to all your parts of life. So um, definitely having those positive reinforcement at the gym and having a workout which is as wholesome as CrossFit, um, you will see improvements in the other parts of your life and you'll feel more focused, more energized, and definitely in my case, more happy. So um, that's kind of all I had for today. Um, real quick uh, note on eating because we didn't talk about food last week. Um, I just want to touch real quickly on the eating habits thing and just the fact that what am I eating? So I did good with eating for most of the week. Uh, I just did not do really well on the weekend, uh, but I just definitely ate at home more. And you know, one thing me and my husband do a lot is, you know, we will cook some salmon, which is super, super easy to make. And it's really, really good um, and very nutritious. It has a lot of omega-3 fats and you should definitely um, eat more salmon if you're not. But I love salmon over chicken every, any day. So I'll take some salmon, we'll put some, you know, just any seasoning, we love Cajun seasoning, we'll put that or just salt and pepper. And salmon is that easy. And uh, roasted potatoes and some uh, uh, beans. So that was just wonderful. We ate that for a couple of days for lunch and, and dinner. So uh, easy meal takes maybe 20 minutes and uh, it's cheap also. So you should definitely check uh, that out and you can always replace that with bre chicken breast uh, and, or chicken thighs so I we love most of those and you know I enjoy it a lot so uh, that was just something I ate this week um, I definitely tried to carry with me snacks which has been wonderful because I'll eat one snack at 10 a.m. in the morning then lunch and then eat something at around 3 and then before the gym I'll either eat an apple or a banana or something like that just an hour before so it kind of helps me pace out my um, my eating during the day so I don't eat snacks or just you know eat binge eat if you will during the week so during the week i did well weekends i still have to work on it so that was my update that was my vlog i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next week till then bye